Hello, and a very warm welcome to my channel. This afternoon, we give you a piece of breaking news. Lady C slams fame-hungry Meghan trying to outshine Princess Diana. The outspoken aristocrat claims the Duchess of Sussex has made it her motive to outshine princess people. In her latest controversial book, titled Meghan and Harry, The Real Story, the aristocrat claims the Duchess of Sussex attempted to fill the shoes of her husband's late mother, who is known as the People's Princess. Lady Colin Campbell has claimed to prove that Meghan Markle wanted to outshine Princess Diana. In her tell-all book, Lady C discusses Prince Harry and Meghan's motive in leaving the royal family and putting the responsibilities that come with it behind them. Speaking to New Magazine, the former celeb's Go Dating star described their unexpected move as terribly sad before suggesting that former actress Meghan is the brains behind the unprecedented decision. She went on to claim that the American star tried her utmost to outshine Harry's dear mother before insisting that he is much less intelligent than his other half. Lady C insisted, It's a terribly, terribly sad situation. In my opinion, Harry is a much less intelligent character than she is, and I think he's so desperate to please her and go along with whatever she says, no matter how ill-conceived it is. Lady C continues, It's obvious that she was out to try to fill Diana's shoes. Maybe that's what Harry hoped too, and not just because he wants a mother figure to baby him. Megan is not as good an actress as she thinks she is because the majority of us saw right through her transparent manner. The controversial star shared her feelings that Harry would still be a member of the royal family if Meghan was not around. She insisted, I believe that if Harry had married anyone else, he would still be a member of the royal family, and I believe Meghan's ambition was always to outshine Diana. Meghan's ambition has always been to outshine Diana, but I think she's gravely misread the situation. She thought sheer hype would get her into Los Angeles, where she could become the great star she always wanted to be. Lady C continued, But I don't think it will happen for her. I'm really thinking she'll struggle to fulfill her ambition. The former I'm a Celeb star has made numerous cruel claims about Meghan in her new book, including that the Duchess was rude to guests at Harry's best friend's wedding. Diana was the people's princess and greatly loved, but she was also a decent human being. Unfortunately, Meghan is not a decent human being and the UK public saw through her false facade. It's an insult to Diana's memory to mention Meghan in any context relating to the royal family. Diana has great respect for the Queen and the firm, even though she had her own troubles. Diana was and has been thoroughly ashamed of the way Harry is treating his family, and she would definitely not have liked Meghan. Lady C also insisted that a source spilled the beans on Harry's best mate Charlie von Strobenzi's wedding to Daisy Jenks. The controversial writer claims the Duchess froze out all the other guests at the celebration. The writer added that the Duchess has cost Prince Harry most of his friends. She writes, a girl went up to Meghan, introduced herself, and said how beautiful she thought she was. She said she knew it was Meghan's birthday and wished her a happy birthday. Meghan looked at her as if she had committed a great faux pas by speaking to her and walked off. It was so cold. She added, another girl told Meghan how much she admired her and how wonderful she thought she was, that she and Harry were married and how well she thought she was doing. She told her she was rooting for them and wishes them well. Meghan's response, she looked her up and down, turned away without saying a word for the rest of the wedding breakfast. Clearly, Princess Diana was our lovely English rose. She was beautiful, kind, compassionate, classy, and genuine. She was not a social climber, coming from an aristocratic family herself. She didn't need to be. Meghan Markle is such a hypocrite. She needs to work harder on being the person she pretends to be, instead of trying to push it through expensive PR agencies. So faux and pretentious. They want privacy on their terms. Diana loved her boys beyond anything, and she fought to make their lives as normal as possible while making sure they knew the royal protocol and knew their place in history. She loved Harry, but I sincerely doubt she would like Meghan's influence, and at the moment, I don't think she'd be proud of him at all. He disrespected the Queen, his family, his dad, and most especially his brother. She is rolling in her grave in anguish. Indeed, royal experts claim... Meghan Markle and Prince Harry do not want a totally private life, but quit the firm to have more control over who has access to them and how they spend their time. But Meghan was slammed by royal fans. 
According to the Daily Express, royal author Victoria Murphy claims Harry and Meghan are not seeking a wholly private existence away from the limelight. Speaking to Town and Country, the commentator noted that Harry and Meghan still want a public life, but with greater control over their time. But, as I said, no narcissist ever wants privacy. I wonder how their fans are unable to see their blatant schemes. It is so obvious. I guess Her Majesty is just letting them burn all their bridges, and I hope she hit very hard at the end of the transition period. Narcissists are pure evil, no soft spot with them else. They destroy you to the core heartlessly. Look at the damages they have already done, and they won't stop until they are stopped. People like them have to keep reinventing themselves to gain notice and fame and hope someone is foolish enough to pay them to listen to one of their speeches, all based around other people's ideas and research. They are not qualified to lecture us on any topic. An actress does whatever role pays the bills, the husband just does as he is told. And of course, they do not want to be totally private, there are no money-making opportunities in that. Harry was born into money, so he is used to that side of life, but now he has been led astray by a scheming grifter who has illusions of grandeur. She knew in the firm she would be a bit part player, so she has forced Harry to leave the royal family in order for her to be the toast of Hollywood. The trouble is most people know she is a fake and just a too big grifter, so she won't make it there either. Meanwhile, many fans also agree with me and slammed Meghan and Harry. One said, Harry and his wife are only talented in being grifters, freeloaders, and frogs. They have never done an honest hard day's work for an honest day's pay in their entire lives. They have no talents whatsoever to make a fortune on the preaching and acting circuits. Harry only speaks about his mental health issues and his wife proves she could only act for a limited amount of time while in the royal family and is now showing her true purpose in life. She is on the take and only in this marriage for what she can get out of it by relying on being a former non-royal. The queen must be sadly disappointed by the actions of her grandson. He's really let her down and abused her kindness and generosity. He'll be paying a huge price for his impetuousness and weakness. As for his conniving, fame-hungry wife, her plans are thwarted. She has made a complete fool of herself for all the world to see. Meanwhile, in other news, according to royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams, Meghan Markle could use her huge influence to speak out during the upcoming US presidential election later this year. But I think she has no voice. Do you not know she is deeply despised by both right and left in the US? Meghan Markle has increasingly spoken out on issues from her home in Los Angeles recently including her recent address to the Girl Up Leadership Summit where she addressed racism and gender inequality. Royal author Omid Scobi said this was a sign of Meghan being less constrained since she stepped down as a senior royal. And Richard Fitzwilliams, a royal expert, also claimed she may even step in during this year's race for the White House between Donald Trump and Joe Biden to help the latter. He told express.co.uk, she has the talents and the experience in the public eye to be a Democratic Party candidate at some point in the future. She might intervene in the forthcoming presidential election. He added, Megan has always been an activist since she successfully campaigned against a sexist advertisement when she was 11. In 2015, she made a memorable speech on gender equality to the United Nations Women's Conference. Recently, she gave a superb speech by video link to those graduating from the school she attended. She and Harry, in their capacities as president and vice president of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, spoke forcefully about confronting the past of the institution, but sadly, without stressing its positive aspects. Earlier this week, Scobie, who is writing a book about her named Finding Freedom, believes Meghan is being perhaps a little punchier in her speeches, since she and Prince Harry stepped down as senior royals earlier this year. He said, this was Meghan really being able to talk about the constraints of some of the things you might have to bear in mind when writing a speech as a working member of the royal family. I understand she spent a lot of time preparing for this speech. Usually, we see members of the royal family reading from very tight scripts when they go up onto a stage. I understand Megan had bullet points. And you? What do you think about them? Please let me know in the comment section below and we can discuss them together. Remember to like and share my video for anyone you think might also be interested. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more news from the royal family. Now, 
goodbye and see you in the next video. Her Megan invested money in promoting her brand and profile, which she raised that the root of success comes from herself. Old thinking, limited vision, impatience in all things are things that Megan is ranked number one in the world. If one day is not so good, I happen to meet Megan somewhere in England, then I will say that she is insignificant. Harry. The lack of nature has created people like Megan, it is normal and inevitable, our job is to speak up. And let the truth unfold.